I read in 2016. Goodreads is telling me that I read 28 books this year and 8,850 pages. I read four books in the beginning of this year in the time from January to June-ish? July. July. Which means I read 13 books in the space from January up to September and so maths. That means that I read 15 books in the space from September to December. I have Goodreads up right here and it's telling me the shortest book I read was this one. <laughs> Which I'm not surprised because it's not a book, it's a story. And it's telling me the longest book I read was Illuminae, which is 599 pages. Now that I think about it and like I say that, that's it's pretty long. I read this in a couple days. It's because of the writing style, like you can fly through it. It's probably not got as many words as some of the bigger books did. The average length being 316 pages. It doesn't feel that way when I read these. Most of these felt like 350 pages up. Apparently not. The most popular book that I read was Animal Farm. Uh, I don't, I'm not even 100% sure on what number that is. A lot of people read Animal Farm this year. And the least popular is My Boy Jack. 68 people read it this year. Ah, uh, well. My average rating apparently is a four stars. I don't like the star system. I never know what to do. I could because literally I'll be like, I really, really enjoyed this, but it's not my favorite, so I give it four stars. And I could be like, I really liked it, but meh, four stars. And I could be like, this was okay, three stars. And I'd be like, well, I didn't really like it, three stars. So like, it doesn't. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm gonna go through a couple different like wrap up ish type things. My favorite book, my least favorite book, those types of things. What's the my favourite book that I read this year? Four of the books that I read this year I would consider going on like my all time favourites shelf, not shelf, list. I wanted to give you like a top five books that I read this year but honestly that's really difficult because I have my top four easy but then like number five I'm like well there are a lot of books that I really 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 enjoyed. If I had to give you a top five I guess I could include My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I really liked this. It reminded me of Stephanie Perkins a lot. I don't know if I necessarily liked it more than Stephanie Perkins though, that's why I'm hesitant. I think I gave it like a 9 out of 10. And I gave the Stephanie Perkins books like 8 out of 10, I think. I can't remember. Mm. These other four aren't necessarily in order. I mean, kind of, I guess I could go. They're roughly in order, but again, don't hold this against me. Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I really liked this. I really, really liked it. I was so into it, and I was so sad when it's over, and I'm so excited for the next one. It was just so epic and awesome and funny and cute. It had all the things. All of the things. And it was so interesting, like, the way it's told is so unique and different. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This affected me in so many ways. The writing is so beautiful. I really liked it. For sure this is one of my favourite contemporaries that I've ever read. I guess number two-ish would be Passenger by Alexandra Brackett. I love Alexandra Brackett. I love, 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 love the Darkest Minds trilogy which she wrote. I really loved this and I'm so excited for Wayfair which just came out. The story was so beautiful and the concept was so interesting. I really liked it. Her characters, man, are the best characters ever. She does characters well. And then I guess, ish, my favourite book that I read this year, ish, would be The Last Star by Rick Yancey. The third and final book to the Fifth Wave trilogy. I feel like that's why. It's because it's the last book and I'm so attached to this world. I'm so attached to the characters in the world. I loved the other two. The first one, the Fifth Wave, is one of my all-time faves. I really liked it. I really liked it. I think the attachment thing is a big thing but also the story was epic and awesome and like the conclusion. Psh, there were some feelings that were felt. The least favorite book that I read this year is almost definitely a picture of Dorian Gray. Okay, here's the thing. I often separate my reading experience to my overall opinions of books. I didn't have fun reading this book. I had to audiobook it two days straight and just kind of forced myself to read it. It wasn't fun. That doesn't mean to say I hate this book. I have more respect for it now that I've come, like I've separated myself from actually reading it. I can appreciate the cleverness in it. It wasn't my fave. I started quite a few series this year. I mean, I started the Passenger duology. We're halfway there. Turn of Glass. I'm so proud of myself for having read this because for the longest time this has been on my shelf and I felt so guilty for not having read it. I finally read it. I've started the Throne of Glass series. It's so pretty as well. Look at how beautiful it is. I love the color scheme. Ugh. 
the Legend trilogy, I read the first two books. I'm actually currently reading the last one. I really like these. I wasn't even planning on starting this trilogy this year. It just kind of happened. And before I knew it, I was like over halfway through. Well, oopsies. Oh, Illuminae. Started that trilogy. Miss Peregrine's Home for Cutie Children. That's another one that I've started. Oh, see, I think I've started more than I finished. But I have finished some series as well. I've finished the Fifth Wave trilogy. The Shatter Me trilogy. This was so much fun. I really enjoyed these last two books. This is not finishing a series, okay, because it's a trilogy and this is like a companion. But I read all the Darkest Minds books. Pat on the back for Jade. And then I completed a series. I read it from start to finish. I mean, it's only a duology. It's not that exciting. But that's The Assassin's Curse and The Pirate's Wish. Love these! These were so much fun! But after I finished both of them, I was obsessed for ages. And then like after I read the second one, I was like, no! No, no, no! Why is this only a duology? I need more. And I know there's another book in her world, and I will be picking that one up, don't you worry. But still, I could do with more time with these characters. I guess the rest of them are standalones then, which is weird because because I normally don't read that many standalones. I'm normally reading like books and series. I like series. And I, they're only they're like a bajillion books long because I read fantasy. Well, I've not read that much fantasy this year, actually. Oh, was it the prettiest book that I read this year? Let's be shallow for a second. It might be Through the Dark, actually. I love... Look at it. I'm obsessed with stars and the moon. The moon more so than stars, but like the night sky in general, like that colour scheme. My favourite book colours are like blues and teals and purples and black and silver. Those are my vibes. Look at this cover. It just appeases my soul to no end. I love the woods as well. It's like the woods and then we have the sky and it's silver and it's blue and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's everything I want in a cover and more. Oh, what's the most anticipated releases of 2017? Uh, mine would be Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth and Wayfarer by Alexandra Bracken. <laughs> for all the books that I have reviews out for, which are probably aren't very many, as I said, I'm still trying to catch up. I'll link them down below. Anyway, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a super morning, afternoon, evening, slash night. I hope you have a happy 2017. My name's Shade. I hope I see you again next time. Goodbye. Which reads is telling me that I read eight, nope, I did not read eight books this year. Why am I crying? I don't, I mean, I love Alexandra Bracken, but I don't know if I love it that much. <laughs>